this video, we'll show how to make epic accessories quickly and easily. In our tutorial, we'll make an original Batman vs Superman paper mache pinata. Inflate a round balloon. Smear a fatty cream over the surface. To make the job easier, place the balloon in a bowl to fit the size. Take a bowl for water. Tear the paper into strips. Pour some water into the bowl. Soak the paper strips one by one. Attach to the balloon so they are overlapped. Perfect! We need to mix white glue with water for further coats. Soak the paper, remove the excess water, and coat the whole surface brushing the edges with the glue mixture if needed. You have to cover with two to three paper layers onto the pinata to keep its shape. It'll take about 15 to 20 hours for the pinata to completely dry. Cut off the end of the balloon. Pull it out. You can fill the pinata with sweets and candies through the holes and cover them afterwards. We need water-based paint for a ground cover. Use a wide brush. Coat the surface with the ground paint. Wait for 30 to 40 minutes until dry. Cover the pinata with a gray spray color. Choose a fast dry paint and air the room well. When the coat is dry, take acrylic paints of black, gray, and white colors. Put a little of the black paint on a sponge. Smudge it over the surface on the top of the pinata. Try to make a thick layer on the pole area leaving gaps around the middle part of the sphere. Color the bottom part in the same way. Paint the middle area with the light gray color. Coat the gray paint with white in the same way. Done! Take a cutout image of the Batman vs Superman logo. You can find the logo picture in the description of this tutorial. Lay it onto the glue mixture surface, the back side down. Attach carefully to the pinata. Flatten out, moving from the center to the edges. This is it! Now cover the hole and attach a string. You can use a plastic cover with a small hole in the center. Press the string through. Tie a knot. Hot glue across the edge of the cover. Press it down. This cute superhero style paper mache pinata will become the center of attention at a kid's Batman vs Superman birthday party. In our tutorial, we'll make a bright red Angry Bird paper mache pinata. Inflate a round balloon. To make the job easier, place the balloon in the bowl to fit the size. Take a plate. Pour some water onto the plate. Tear the paper into strips. Soak it in the water. Smear a fatty cream over the surface. Attach the paper strips to the balloon one by one overlapped. The first coat is ready. We need to mix white glue with water for further coats. Soak the paper. Remove the excess water. Coat the surface with two to three paper layers to make the pinata keep its shape. It'll take about 15 to 20 hours to dry. Lay a newspaper to protect the surface. Cover the pinata with a bright red acrylic gloss varnish ground spray. You can buy it in a DIY store. Air the room well. Cut off the end of the balloon. Pull it out. You can fill the pinata with sweets and candies through the hole and cover it afterwards. Take a printed Angry Bird picture. You can find it in the description of this tutorial. Cut out the image. It'll be better if you divide the image into different parts and cut out each one for easy attachment. Use white glue. Add glue to the back. Carefully attach and smooth. Now take a string and tie a knot. Put the knot into the hole. Cover the hole with hot glue. Cut out a crest. Leave an extra fold for attachment and add some glue. Stick it to the pinata. Done! Such an Angry Birds pinata will become the center of attention at any kid's party, making it unforgettable. In our tutorial, we'll make a cool Spider-Man logo paper mache pinata. Inflate a round balloon. Smear a fatty cream over the surface. To make the job easier, place the balloon in the bowl to fit the size. 
Take a bowl of water. Tear the paper into strips. Soak the paper strips. Make the first coat attaching the strips one by one overlapped. We need to mix white glue with water for further coats. Take a soft synthetic brush. Cover three layers more to make the pinata keep its shape. It'll take about 15 to 20 hours to dry well. Cut off the end of the balloon. Pull it out. You can fill the pinata with sweets and candies through the hole and cover it afterwards. We need water-based paint for a ground cover. Coat the surface with the ground paint. Wait for 30 to 40 minutes until it's dry. Choose a fast dry spray paint and air the room well. Cover one half of the pinata with a red color and the other half with blue. Make a blurred color border. Tie a string along the border. Draw a line with a black marker using the string as a guide. Shift the string two and a half inches off. Draw another line. The line pattern resembles a peeled orange. Define the lines, making them thicker. To create a web pattern, draw curved cross lines. Make two to two and a half inch intervals between the lines in the central part. Decrease the intervals as you get nearer to the poles. Make these lines thicker as well. Add some glitter using a golden paint and a thin brush. Paint all the lines. You can use a golden marker instead. Cut out a spider image. You can find it in the description of this tutorial. Attach the image onto the color border. The cool Spider-Man pinata will become a perfect decoration for a superhero themed party. Our tutorial is about how to make a Death Star pinata from the legendary Star Wars. We need a big round balloon to start with. Stretch it. Inflate the balloon. Prepare the paper. Tear it into small strips. Take any fatty cream and spread it on the balloon. We need a bowl. Pour water. Soak the paper and coat the surface. Use white glue to cover the following coatings. Mix the glue with water. Cover the surface with the glue mixture. Add another paper coating. You need to cover with two to three paper layers onto the pinata to keep its shape. It'll take about 15 to 20 hours for the pinata to completely dry. Cut out the top of the balloon. Pull it out from the opposite side. Draw a small circle using a compass. Cut out with a craft knife. Turn over the cut detail to form a Death Star pinata. Use water-based paint as a ground coating. Paint the Star Wars pinata. Better use a wide brush. Keep in mind the cut detail. Cover the holes from the inside using a glue gun. Apply a ground coating. Let dry for 30 to 40 minutes. Add colors. Paint the pinata with a gray spray. Take a fast drying paint and work in a well ventilated room. The paint is dry. We can take the next step. Cover the hole in the cut element with a piece of paper forming a cone. Attach it with white glue. Add glue to the whole sides. Put the cone inside. When dry, divide the pinata into two equal semispheres. Use a string. We've got a so-called equator. Draw a line along the string. Now find the top pole of the star. Attach a string. Trace the lines from the pole across the equator. The lines will help us draw the star details. We've fulfilled the task. Define the central line in such a way. Now draw squares of the same height. Add three more rows. You'd better have a printed out picture of the Death Star at hand to be correct in the details. 
Draw two more lines under the equator. Begin making the pinata bottom part. Draft a bit smaller, similar squares. Now take a darker gray paint and a thin brush. Paint all the windows. We've chosen an acrylic paint that becomes lighter after drying, so we'll get the right shade. The paint is dry. Add a finishing touch. Done! Define the equator with black paint. Make dots along the equator using white paint and in every window. This is what we've made. It's time to put sweets inside. Make a hole in the top part to hang the piñata. Put a string inside in this way. Tie a knot. Finish making details inside the sphere. Cut out a paper ring. Add some glue with a glue gun. Attach the ring onto the cut detail. Now attach the element on the Death Star. To complete the craft, define the lines with black paint. Such an awesome Star Wars pinata will make a Star Wars birthday party amazing and unforgettable. Your kid will be excited. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will find lots of interesting and unexpected ideas for your creative tasks. And we've got special gifts for Star Wars fans.